X's and O's. All right. So first of all, this guy uh, who, who wrote us this letter, who wrote us this email. It is treaties. Right. It is. It is pretty long. It is. It's, it's the Declaration of Independence here. <laughs> At least he started off correctly. Cigar Snob Podcast team. First, I absolutely love your show and what you do for our culture and community. Not only do you share a ton of cigar knowledge, but you bring great humor into the mix. Thank you. No, thank you. So here's his question. This is something I've thought about over the 28 years that he's been enjoying uh, cigars and patronizing shops and lounges all over. Oftentimes, you encourage us uh, SNP listeners. I like that. I, I think he meant Cigar Snob Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Snob. Snob Podcast. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's all right. That's all right. ESPN, SNP. CSP is yeah, uh, he's a CSP later. So, so uh, it, uh, listeners to approach our local tobacconist with questions or recommendations. Now, the textbook definition of a tobacconist um, can be a dealer in tobacco, especially a retailer. Now, a licensed tobacconist is someone who's authorized to sell tobacco products. Well, with all that being said, he's, he, he's not confident whether or not the person behind the counter at the shop is as knowledgeable about cigars or the industries. You know, it, you know, it could be somebody they just hired, just, you know, maybe it's somebody's uh, nephew, somebody's niece, you know, because they, they, they need to do something for the summer. And how can I be confident, Ivan and Eric, how can I be confident that the person that I'm approaching to seek guidance is a true tobacconist in the sense that you are referencing on the show or someone who can accurately guide me on my cigar journey without asking for proof credentials what are some signs to look for that they are truly knowledgeable again he loves and appreciates the show hope you find that csp audience would benefit from this this is uh Cuídate, first of all, cuídate a little español. This is Manny from the ATL. That's right. From the 404. Great question. Man, it's such an awesome question, awesome. right? It is robust like the cigar we're smoking. It's, an, it's a great question because it's it's nuanced, right? How how do you how do you ascertain whether or not this guy or girl knows what the hell they're talking about, right? That's And that's, therein lies the rub, right? <laughs> so we, wanna, he, he's right. We keep referring people. Yeah. yeah can, and can we you do keep him? saying that. Can you spot him when you walk into me, a store? Yeah. Me, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can it, you? Oh, absolutely. Now I'm also a pain in the ass. I'm also, I don't want anybody, like when I walk into a store or, you know, like a, I'm at the mall or shopping or whatever, I don't want anybody. Can I help you? No, no, no. I, I, I will find you. You don't need to find me. But. Which is the other trick, right? Because there's different kinds of consumers. Right. So that's another little tricky part. Right. right? What I, kind of consumer are you? Right. Like, I, I mean, I, my my trick, I mean, I, I can spot them in the sense that my trick is I'll ask him if they have a particular cigar. Sure. And, and I'm not asking for some random, only available, you know, you know, in, in one precise city. I'll ask him, you know, do you have any uh, La Flor Dominicana or do you have an, an Avo Caribe? And, and if I get that sort of deer in the headlights look, then I realize, all right, I'm on my own here. And hopefully the humidor is in alphabetical order. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but otherwise, I kind of I'm not. I, I'm not into all this conversation with, with, with the person, you know. Well, I mean, but but in order to to answer Manny's question, yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, you do. You do need to kind of get into it a little bit. Otherwise, you almost yeah. have no way to tell. So, so you, Ivan, you've got a you've got a master class in this. Oh no, I, I but I, I I feel differently than you. I think you have to start talking to them. You know, you're almost like testing them out. Like I, I tiptoe into it. It's like like just the way you do, where you like ask if they have a certain cigar. I'll like throw out, yeah, like do you have this or what do you or yeah, I'll start it with that. And yeah. then and I'm trying to feel my way to see how he approaches that. So depending on if I if I say uh, either a good I, I might even ask for a bad cigar. <laughs> Mm. And and I just want to respond to say, are you sure you want that or? Okay. All right, <laughs> yeah, so, sure, sure. Here's a bad cigar. Here, take it. <laughs> so you know what? Uh, what I always find is a good conversation starter to be able to make that determination. I like to. I love asking, what's what are some of the new things you've gotten? You know, what are some of the new cigars that you've got in stock? Because now, now I get to figure out. I'm, I'm almost asking him about multiple brands at once. And so what does he say about them? And so when he says, oh, yeah, we just got uh, whatever, Don Pepin Garcia Vintage. And like, oh, have you smoked it yet? Oh, no, I haven't smoked it. Okay. Uh, what about this other one? Have you gotten that? Have you smoked that yet? And then 
No, I haven't smoked. Okay, wait. So what do you what do you smoke? What do you like? <laughs> right. So now you can you can start a conversation that way. And and if the guy says a brand that you know you don't like, that's the one that he smokes. Right. You know, I'm right. not gonna name any any brands right, right now. <laughs> that. Right. Uh, but if that happens, then that gives you a pretty good idea of his particular knowledge, right? And then there's also guys who who have been trained to push a certain brand because, for example, um, a, a particular cigar brand is giving that store really good terms on on this particular cigar or this also happens a cigar store a cigar company may give uh the sales reps a little sweetener you know sure you sell more of these correct i'll give you a discount on this yeah so so if the guy keeps pushing you ask oh you know what do you uh what would you recommend like for a mild smoker and he says oh you know this brand and then what do you recommend for a medium body or oh, this brand and it's right. the same brand over and over you, you know, know he's just pushing a product on you obviously there's a million that, different cigar- a lot of retailers out there and some people live in in markets that have better retailers than others that's just uh, the yep, fact that is a truth and the best retailers uh usually give their employees the most knowledge and training possible in the end, so they can sell more cigars. Right. So the more knowledgeable their staff is, the more cigars they're going to sell. Yep. So the better cigar shops. So they're motivated to to to, to go, help you. Yeah. To to train their staff. A lot of a lot of retailers go into these stores and they do um, presentations on cigars, and they yep. they learn from those. So not all cigar shops are the same. That's that's for sure. But um, there are some programs as as this. Uh, person was asking where where they do certify some people as sommeliers as cigar sommeliers so correct yeah so you and the, the original one of that 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 we knew that we first heard about years ago was uh tobacconist university right and so and now they're still they're still around they still certify tobacconists and i think that they also have a consumer uh, certification. Yeah. And so you can check that out. I think it's tobacconistuniversity.org. Let me just double check it. So if somebody yeah. so if somebody goes through one of these programs, I mean it doesn't guarantee that they're going to become a cigar expert, but at least they they put enough effort into it. Correct. And that they care about it enough that they're going to know some information. And to that to that point, so if you go to tobacconistuniversity.org, they have a section find a tobacconist. And so you oh, can wow. you can find a certified tobacconist in your area if that is what you're looking for, and then there's also the Cigar Academy. That's the the newest uh, the newest uh, certification uh, program. So that was the CigarAcademy.com, I think. Yeah, the CigarAcademy.com. So both of those, the uh, Tobacconist University and the Cigar Academy, both uh, certify retailers, and I believe they also certify consumers. If you're a consumer and you want to learn more, you can go through these programs. I think it's great. I think yeah. it's great. You know, I mean, I, I think, you know, they, they, they say that the, the cardinal mistake when you eat at a restaurant is to ask the server, well, what would you recommend? Because, again, they've been told, hey, push push the veal today or push this or they'll probably give you the most expensive thing on the menu. I, I would not say what would you recommend because, again, the, that cigar, even if they are a licensed, certified, you know, chingong tobacconist, uh may not have your palate you know what i mean or, or or vice versa so i think i think to me if they engage you i think that's always a great way of looking at it in other words you know every question that you ask should be should be coming back with a question about you that's how i can tell that these people are legit yeah. in other words like well what do you i don't know eric what do you like to smoke yeah you know that, I, uh, that's really good insight because you should treat this like you treat a waiter right i do that all the time I ask, well, what do you what do you like to what do you like off the menu? Mm-hmm. And it's really just to start a conversation to see if this guy's gonna be able to help me or not, or if he's just pushing the veal, right? Mm-hmm. So that's a that's a really good point. By the way, there, there's one more organization uh, called Cigar Sommelier, so that one also does certifications. So I, I just didn't want to leave them out. I think those are the three prominent right. certification companies. You know, and it's and it's funny. I wonder if and and Manny, I don't know when you go to your particular you know lounges or or, or tobacco uh, shops, but I wonder if there's a difference between going on a Tuesday at noon 
or a Saturday night at 11 o'clock at night. You know what I mean? Because obviously there's more people there or maybe there's less people or maybe the the the, the staff is a little bit more uh you know, different in terms of knowledge, in terms of what their purpose serves there. So that's something else to, to think about. I mean, if, if you really want to have a legitimate sit down conversation, maybe Saturday night at 11 o'clock is not the time to do that. That's that's <laughs> another good point. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you know I mean? Manny being in Atlanta, uh, Manny has an embarrassment of riches in terms of sure. cigar retailer choices. Oh, yeah. So in his in his world, the only other market similar to Atlanta, I, I think, is Miami. Miami and Tampa. Tampa. Right, because they, there's so many retailers. Every, and there's one on every corner, it seems. Yeah, I mean, we have one probably a quarter of a mile from here. And then we have another one a half mile from here. Uh, and it's crazy. We have so many. So just to put a button on Manny, Ivan, so what happens if, if maybe you walk into a shop and for whatever reason, maybe it's somebody new, or maybe it's somebody that just you know needs a job, and you find out that this person maybe is not the, your, your your source for tobaccos. What do you do then? Do you leave? When all else fails, you reach into your closet and pull out any January February issue of Cigar Stop Magazine, get the tear out section that has the top twenty five cigars of the year, put that little sucker in your pocket, and then walk into the humidor and make your selection based off that. Or even like you, I'll go one further take a picture of it you don't even have to put that in your pocket <laughs> take a picture of it with your phone it is oh, perforated yeah though. yeah it is perforated screenshots are your friends so yeah. at, the, at the very least you know i mean because listen whatever maybe this the shop well for whatever reason maybe that person just isn't going to be the person you're, you're going to want to you know base your opinion on and, and is and is recommending a 65 dollars cigar you know what i mean yeah you and, know, and you're maybe, also just not going to walk out right you're there you're, you're there, there you're you know? going to smoke you're going to find something <laughs> you know so well, that's something else oh you could go to cigarsnob.com and look up our top 25 there as well yeah and remember screenshots are your friends Sometimes. Sometimes maybe they aren't. Yeah. <laughs> but in this particular case, they are. So that's Manny from Atlanta. Manny, we hope that helped you out a little bit. And for reading it, what happens, Eric? Mm. Manny's going to receive a Cigar Snob swag pack. So if you if you follow all of our Cigar Snob stuff, you'll, you've undoubtedly seen Win Stuff Live every Friday on our Instagram, miss it. Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, we're at 3 p.m. Eastern. We give away stuff for free. Like good stuff, like 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 crazy. I mean, yeah, yeah. La last week we gave away a, a, a two thousand dollars worth of yeah. stuff. Yeah, I, I was like, I was like, wait a minute now, this is like serious stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we've given away all kinds of stuff. So anyway, a new car. But Manny is going to get a cigar snob swag pack. So he's going to get some some uh, cigar snob, maybe a t shirt, maybe hat, maybe all kinds of stuff. So, thank you, Manny. Thank you for uh, for that feedback and. Jimmy, how do they get back to us if if somebody else wants to be like Manny? Well, you you, you send it to us at questions. There you go. At cigarsnobmag.com or cigarsnob.com. Or feedback or, or feedback. any email yeah. at cigarsnobmag.com. <laughs> What changes? You know, you know, we we got, we got these we got these new bosses around, and you're the boss. So I don't know why we keep changing these things. But you know, feedback, questions. The way I look at it is this, and this is something that I'm asking. It's a challenge. It's a it's, it's a challenge for everyone. Send us, you know, on, on your on via either email or on the Instagram page or on the X page. Send us wearing your stuff, your your cigar snob shirt, your hat, whatever you get from us. Let's take a picture. Send it to us. We want to see it. We've gotten people on Win Stuff Live. Win Stuff yeah. Live. They've they all been to. sharing it. Yeah. yeah I don't know why the cigar why the podcast people aren't following Bob suit. Wolf. Come on, dude. You know, I mean, can you imagine there you are sitting sitting in front of your palatial estate, smoking a nice Rocky Patel dark star, listening to the show or watching the show on the old U to the tube. That's right. Hopefully the winner of the Win Stuff Live this week will be going to Puro Sabor in Nicaragua. It takes Ooh. plenty of pictures there to send back to us so we can She's see, very or see how media. she is enjoying her time yeah. in Nicaragua. Thanks to Villager Cigars, yep. which, by the way, 1888, the year Villager Cigars was founded, and the date that gave rise to the first handmade premium cigar to bear the Villager name is the Villager 1888. 
And now the two newest additions to the historic line, the new Villager 1888 Nicaragua and the Villager 1888 Dominican Republic. My favorite of the two is the Nicaragua. It delivers notes of roasted uh, nuts, rich mocha, and a sweet caramel finish. Finish A very complex smoke with loads of flavor. The Villager 1888 Nicaragua is made at the Villager de Nicaragua, Villager's newest factory in Esteli. So if you're in the mood for either the Nicaragua or the Dominican Republic, go on and try either one of the new Villager 1888s today. And so her aficionado, which is the one that won uh, the Wind Stuff Live, yeah. she will be attend she will be visiting the Villager de Nicaragua cigar factory. Factory. Yeah, among others. Get so it's gonna be a cool trip. Yep. Yeah. Tremendous, tremendous trip. Good. Yep. We'll yep. enjoy and we wanna see some photos. That's right. And you know what? Go crazy. Put put a little video in there too. And now you got two minutes on, on, the, on the old X. You got two minutes on there. Let's go. Thanks for watching Cigar Snob on YouTube. If you enjoyed that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to check out more of our content, go to the channel and you'll see mail time videos, podcasts, interviews with cigar insiders, and photo shoots with smoking hot models. And if you want even more Cigar Snob in your life, we will print a magazine and ship it straight to your house. It's a crazy idea. I know, but we're trying this out. Cigarsnob.com to do that. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you later.